It's a wee bit sunnier since the last time you guys saw us when we were at a very wet Donington Park testing with Bay and Brunton Racing, but we are at Snetterton this weekend for round one of the GP4 Championship with Gray and Brunton and the Laser Tools liveried cars. We've got Logan Hanna and Chloe Grant out this weekend. They've had a lot of wet and dry running this weekend with snow on and off over the past two days, but today is looking like some clouds in the sky, but it's a sunny and dry day, so I think the girls are going to be full of confidence going into race one this afternoon. There's an all-female team. Logan and Chloe from Graham Brunton Racing with laser tools. I think this car is one of the most striking. My name is Logan Hanna. My name is Chloe Grant. The 2022 season about to get underway for the first ever round in the GB4 Championship. The drivers finishing the race, returning back into the pit lane. Okay, so that's the first race of the weekend out the way. Um, you guys finished 10th and 11th. How do you feel the race went, Logan? Um, it could have gone a little bit better. I stalled off the start. We are underway here at Snetterton. There's a staller as well in the background. Which isn't ideal, but first race of the year, essentially. So it had to happen at some point, get it out of the way at the first race. And then due to the stall, I kind of just struggled to find a rhythm. Uh, Gilks, Grant, Edgar, Sherwood, Hannah and Lester, by the way, uh, the running order of the other 12 drivers. But was able to make up a few positions and I guess I'm pretty lucky that I get to start in the same position I started today, tomorrow morning in race two. So I'll just try and use that as a practice run and move on from there. Um, I got quite a good start actually, I was quite happy. Um, I made up a few places on the first lap, I got up to eighth or ninth I think, I think it was eighth actually. Behind Chloe Grant who's got up into eighth position, she said she was targeting podiums this season and to be fair her race pace looks better than her qualifying pace. Looking for um, And then unfortunately I was going around Corum and I just, I had a little bit of a, a slip with the car and I, I did catch it luckily um, but I ended up on the grass and a few cars got past me. Well, it's Jessica Redka, uh, Chloe Grant uh, who's dropped back in that position and then Logan Hanna is uh, very close to the rear end of the battle as well. And then Logan was on my tail again, um, and then it was too close to the end of the race, I just didn't manage to build the pace back up again. You can see there across the line, it is Jessica Edgar just ahead of Logan Hannah and Chloe Grant. But there's always tomorrow, so I'm keeping a positive mindset. So that's day one of the GB4 Championship over and done with. We had qualifying in race one today and we're now looking ahead to tomorrow with some hopefully dry weather for races two and three. Race three will be reverse grid, which should make for some interest in racing. And we'll see you then.
So that's a wrap here at round one of the GB4 Championship at Snetterton. How do you feel that your races two and three went today, Logan? Um, two wasn't ideal. I had a pretty decent start, um, starting from eighth again and made it round to turn seven. Ran wide on an exit curb and unfortunately an electrical issue came up and that kind of squashed my race two, seven corners in on the first lap. And someone is off the road. I think it might be Logan Hanna. Uh, certainly, as you can see on the tower, has dropped down to the bottom. But the team did a massive job to come back in and try to figure out what the issue was, um, got it fixed and got us back out for race three to start P3. Again, started but didn't have one of the best starts um, and managed to hold my own for pretty long in the race, which was ideal. Uh, her teammate is still on the circuit of uh, Logan Hanna, so uh, she's still making up some progress. So there's still something on the table for the uh, Graham Brunton racing team. We're currently running inside the top five, I do believe. And I think finished seventh on, or eighth on track, but probably ninth in the standings by the time that comes through. But overall, a pretty, pretty decent weekend, considering never been here before and sort of where we were for Thursday morning. What about you, Chloe? Um, race two for me was actually obviously my best result so far since it's only the first round of GB4. Um, I started 11th and made up a few places to finish 8th in the race overall. Sherwood in 7th position, 8th position for Chloe Grant. Just so I was quite happy with that, um, but obviously there's still part of me that must be doing a lot more. Um, but just get on with it, it'll take me time. Um, race three, unfortunately, didn't go as I planned it. I think I just got a bit overly confident, um, making an overtake on another driver, and there was just a bit of contact, and I lost my wing, and I bent a rod. Oh, there's been issues for more for Chloe Grant, so that's what the real problem is, a lack of front wing. So uh, this race has kicked off. So unfortunately, I had to retire from that race. Chloe Grant out of the car. I think she looked pretty fuming. But you live and you learn. I know it was my fault, and still great up until that point. <laughs> yeah. And round two is at Alton Park in two weeks time. How are you feeling about round two of the championship now? I'm really looking forward to Alton. Um, being there in September last year, first that was my first weekend with Laser as well. So hopefully bringing some of the good luck we had from that weekend, left Alton last, last year with silverware. So there's hopes that that could be the case again in two weeks time. But looking forward to getting back out in the car and having another shot at it. And I'm excited to get back out in the car again, like Logan says, but I'm a slightly bit nervous as well because I have never driven Ulton before. It's just been some work that I've done there. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing how much the track agrees with me. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Great, and we'll see you guys there.